Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit in the surroundings of our North London allotments and talk about different whiskies. And today you join me on a really chilly, you know, proper chilly day, two or three degrees, and uh, but you know, ultimately lovely. I mean, bright blue sky, really cold, crisp, you know, love these sort of days. Um, not much to do up here, you know, as tends to happen in the winter, you know, there's definitely not as much as spring or summer time. Um, but, you know, a few odd jobs here and there, and that's what I'll be getting on with uh, shortly. But, of course, I am here to talk about whiskey, and uh, what is the allotment dram today, I hear you ask? Uh, well, it's very exciting, that's what it is. It's uh, the Scarabus 10-year-old. So this is a brand new Isla single malt. Uh, Scarabus, uh, the original Scarabus was launched probably a year to 18 months ago. Um, it's from Hunter Lang. Uh, they are an independent bottler uh, of you know very high repute and also more recently a distiller. You know they, they built the Ardenho distillery on Isla which started operating again about 18 months ago but this is a 10 years old isla single malt uh, from an unnamed uh, isla distillery and scarabus the name uh, refers to a nordic word actually which is a uh, rocky place and this refers to where ardenaho is located so if you uh, go there it's on the very northeastern corner of isla and uh, you know sits you know atop a cliff looking over the Strait of Isla across the Jura and, you know, is a very, you know, slightly um, difficult place to get to, you know, because it is sitting in you know, a very steep sort of uh, cliff down to the, down to the sea there. So this is what it refers to. And it's interesting that it's a Nordic word rather than Gaelic, which you might expect. Um, that is, you know, because really back in history, the Vikings came across from Scandinavia, you know, right across the sort of east coast of Scotland and over the top uh, through the Orkneys and down the other side through the Hebrides. So you'll find there a lot of Gaelic names in the Hebridean islands, but also a lot of very sort of Nordic sounding names, of which Scarabus is one. And, you know, another thing, you know, lovely, as with the original Scarabus, um, this new one, the 10 years old age statement, has this lovely sort of intricate uh, design. You know, we really like that. You know, a little bit of sort of relief as well. You know, silver, very, very nice uh, indeed. So I think without further ado, you know, it's a cold day, so I should really try some whiskey um, to warm myself up. So, I mean, you would obviously expect this to be, you know, smoky, peaty. That's what a lot of people think of. Uh, for Isla whiskies, but uh, 46 percent, uh, and it's also joined by this one called batch strength as well, which is much higher. Uh, the first batch is uh, 57, 58 percent, something like that. Um, so sounds like that parrot wants some as well. And you've got loads of this is what I like about here, it's so peaceful, but we do have this sort of sort of group of what the group name for parrots is. Someone can maybe leave in the comments section but um, we've got this group of parrots that sort of live in and around the trees here and you know, they do tend to interrupt me from time to time um, but uh, yeah they're quite excitable at the moment but without further ado let's try the whiskey so here we are as you can see we literally received this bottle uh, last week so this is the first opportunity to really have a good go at it so um, there we are let's take that off Oh yeah, that was a good one. That's one of our favourite sounds, as some of you will know. Uh, so let's let's have a pour. Glass is very cold, so I have to warm it up there. There we are. Let's just uh, we always pop the cork back on. Right, so let's have a look at this. Um, what have we got? So here, here we are. See, really pale colour. I mean. I seem to remember from the original Scarabus, which, which I have reviewed as one of these videos back in the summer, um, was very light also. Um, this is predominantly, this is bourbon casks here. But you can see like that, 
Yeah, very, very pale, almost like a lemon, lemon yellow. And you might be surprised that that's, you know, a 10 year old whiskey could be that light, but you know, it can, you know, particularly if the cast have been used uh, once or twice, you can get quite subtle sort of coloration and also aromas and flavors. So let, let's, have a, let's have a smell. Oh yeah, we've got, um, amazingly, there's a sort of freshness and vibrancy to it. Yeah, there's a sort of biscuity, oaty quality. And then there's a lot of sort of damp earthiness, like damp earth, damp moss, um, this, this sort of thing. There's a little bit of honey and vanilla underneath. And then just a bit of sort of like bonfire ash, you know, when the the embers are slowly uh, sort of going out, so it's a slightly charcoaly feel. Let's have a taste. Mm. Yeah, that's um really full on in the mouth. That's um you can see how cold it is. The glass steaming up. But uh, yeah, it's got this lovely malty biscuity quality, and yeah, then there's this like hint of like sort of white pepper and like red chili, something like that. But this sort of oatmeal biscuit, and then comes the smoke. It's this sort of ashy, charcoaly smoke but with a hint of this sort of damp moss, damp earth in there again. And then underneath you've got, you know, some much needed sweetness. You know, if there was, if there was no sweetness and just these savory elements, then it would be totally sort of out of balance. But these sweeter notes, this honey, vanilla, there's a bit of sort of icing sugar or butterscotch, something like that as well. Let's have another taste. Mm. Yeah, definitely more, it's more butterscotch and it's like a golden syrup in there as well. And then there's some lovely warming spice sort of coming through, which um, a bit of cinnamon, a bit of ginger in there. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's like ginger oat biscuits or gingerbread, maybe something like that. Yeah, delicious. I mean, apps, you know, warmed me right up there. You know, it's, as I say, two or three degrees today. And, you know, really fits the bill. Really, really good for this, this sort of weather. And, you know, great product. I mean, it's nice to see that they've put now a, a small range together because there was just the original Scarabus, which, say, came out... 18 months or so ago actually made our top 10 whiskies of 2019 as well because we thought you know for the price and everything else that you know it's really really good value and, and this one's good value as well you know this is what the recommended price of 45 pounds so you know not not too naughty at all um but yeah delicious so i'm gonna have another sip of this and uh, get on with my work to try and keep warm but uh Thanks again for watching and uh, until next time from myself and the Scarabus 10 years old, uh, we will bid you farewell and say cheers. Bye bye.